Hello everyone, how you guys doing? Welcome back to Esports Talk, and today we're going to be talking about even more roster changes, because there's more. And we're probably going to be looking at one of the biggest ones in Rainbow Six history, if I'm being honest. I think so. You guys probably already know what it is, because you read the title. So, let's do it. I'm really excited to talk about this. Let's discuss G2. Let's discuss Reciprocity. Let's discuss Luminosity. And some other teams. Let's just hop straight into it. Just today, G2 announced that they'd be dropping Sir Boss and Fabian, and that they'd be picking up Navi Citizen and Fnatic's Virtue. A lot of people doubted it. When they heard that G2 might be picking up Citizen, they scoffed. They laughed. They said, G2 does not need another fragger. They said, G2 needs a support. But G2 gone done did it anyway. Citizen is going to be acting as a fragger for them, I'm assuming. And then I'm also going to be assuming that Virtue is going to be more on a flex position for them. Uh, but Citizen is a great fragger. Yes, he actually set the record for most kills on a single map, which was 23. And it was during his first international LAN. And Virtue is coming from Fnatic, which is an APAC team that actually kind of showed up at the Invitational, or at least a lot more than people expected them to because they knocked down G2 to the loser's bracket 2-1. to one. They still lost to TSM and BDS, but they still did a lot better than people were expecting them to. But with them two joining, that of course means that Sir Boss is out, which we expected, but I don't think anyone expected that Fabian would be leaving G2. He said that the team's atmosphere wasn't great anymore, and he just doesn't think that they should play together anymore. G2 said that they will be helping him find another team, and he was looking for, he had a certain option in mind, but during the transfer period, he said that it didn't work out, so he's not going to be going to whatever team he was trying to go to, and he said he might actually be going to another region, he's probably going to stay in EU, but might go to another region if the offer is spicy enough. So that's Fabian out, best of luck to him, he was a part of G2 during its golden era, but you could also say that he was a part of G2 during its worst era, with them picking up Citizen and Virtue, that's probably going to bring G2... Whoa, straight back to the top of the leaderboard or somewhere up there because what we're looking at here is a super team This is a freaking super team. They have some really strong fraggers on their team However, you got to look at other teams as well and know that they're making roster changes too And G2 is gonna have to watch out still because other teams are gonna be looking really strong as well Luminosity is making two moves. They picked up Jarvis, but they have dropped Slash We haven't seen Jarvis play in Pro League since his time with TSM last year where they won DreamHack Montreal together But they had a bit of a tougher time when it came to Pro League Season 10 But Jarvis is a decent pickup. He's a solid player for Luminosity Gaming However, when it comes to losing Slash, I'm not really sure how the two compare Though, of course, I'm just me. I don't really know what's best for the team So I guess we'll see, you know, how Luminosity does despite them running pretty much the same roster for a while now Unless they decide to make more changes which they have not really yet announced unless they did something while I'm recording this video But yeah with slash leaving that means big news for reciprocity because they are acquiring him slash as well as Biologic. They announced it a couple days ago, but holy crap, this is actually huge for Reciprocity. They have Biologic, Vertical, Laxing, Foxy, and Slash. That is an amazing North American lineup. This is going to be a very strong team. Slash is reunited with Vertical, their buddies from Rogue. And on top of that, Slash is just a great pickup in general, and I feel like Biologic can be a great pickup. However, he kind of has a lot to prove because just like Jarvis, he hasn't played in Pro League since his time with TSM last year, which was a while ago. So we'll see how they do. But damn. Reciprocity is looking really strong. SSG and TSM, they might need to watch out a bit. And finally, the last thing that I'm going to bring to you guys today is more news. Because not too long ago, TSM dropped Bagel, which I did discuss in a video. However, you'd think that a coach that got their team to third place in the Invitational would be sitting somewhere pretty comfortably on a Pro League spot. However, he wasn't because he got dropped. But E United have decided to pick Bagel up. He's replacing Secretion, which is actually the coach that was kind of coaching since its inception. As well as before that, when they were on Obey Alliance, where they had mostly the same roster, just give or take a few people. He hasn't announced where he's going yet, nor do we know the replacement for TSM's coach, but the roster lock is in effect, so they probably just haven't announced it yet. Uh, so all the teams at this point should have their finalized rosters heading into Pro League, so we can expect a bunch more teams to make announcements before the start of Pro League, you know, from now until then. And there's still a lot of free agency players that could potentially be picked up, so... Watch out for those, and I will be watching out for them as well to update you guys in case you guys don't watch out for them. You know what I'm trying to say. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you all very soon. So take it easy. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.